there are times when each of us experience difficult things in life. Indeed, sometimes life is simply overwhelming. I know that from my own life. There was a time when my home burned and I lost most of my possessions. I had a job that the agency went bankrupt and I was without a job one day, walked in and found out no more job and was on an unemployment for several months trying to figure out my next step. I lost more friends than I can count during the AIDS pandemic of the 80s and early 90s, and then the death of my parents, so I've dealt a lot with grief. And I've also had some health concerns that I've had to sort through for myself. Life can be difficult. For you and for me, it happens to all of us at some time. You know, we often use the image that in each life there is the spring and summer and autumn and winter. And indeed, there are cycles that we move through in life. It's the way life is. Sometimes people get caught in the difficult times and ask, why is it happening to me? What is God doing to me? And while those questions or statements like those questions are reasonable when we're in the middle of difficult times, they're not really helpful. I think overall, what's more helpful is for us to pay attention to the larger picture of life. That life is filled with moments that are brilliant and wonderful, and life also has moments that are very difficult and very painful. And it's important for us to accept that that's the reality of life. That the sun shines on people who live well and do good things as well as on scoundrels. That the rain falls on people who live justly and in right relationships with others and with nature, as well as with people who try to take advantage of everyone they meet. It's how life is. As we accept the reality of life being how it is, rather than trying to change it, we're more able to deal with the ups and downs that life presents for us. In addition, I know from my own experience that what's very helpful for me when life is difficult is to return to my spiritual practice. It helps me because it keeps me grounded it helps me to return to a sense of peace. Danish philosopher Soren Kierkegaard once wrote that prayer doesn't change God, but it changes the person who prays. Our prayer doesn't create miracles. Our spiritual practice doesn't cause things to fade away or disappear like some kind of magic. Instead, by engaging in spiritual practice, in prayer, in the things that bring us to a sense of peace, what happens in times of trouble is that we return to that peace. We let go of the stress and we're able to flow more naturally and perhaps perceive things from a wider perspective rather than the very narrow perspective that happens for us whenever we're in crisis. But of course, spiritual practice isn't just something we start and do one day and get all these magical benefits from or wonderful benefits from. Instead, it's practice that we learn over time. It's like having good friends who are there to support us whenever we're in times of trouble. Those friends don't just magically happen. We just don't walk into Starbucks and meet them and they're going to be there for us no matter what. Instead, good, healthy, solid friendships are formed over time. And after we have put in that time, we know that we can count on people to be there for us. The same is true for spiritual practice, that as we learn to incorporate spiritual practice in our life, when we experience trouble, we return to that practice and we experience that sense of release that draws us to peace, letting go of the tension, 
that then causes us to be more resilient and go with the flow. Life is an amazing gift. To be alive is a wonderful thing. We experience great joy and happiness, and we experience huge difficulties and sorrow. While most days are pretty ordinary and filled with our routines, as Soren Kierkegaard also said, life isn't a problem to be solved. It's a mystery to be lived. And so each day I continue to choose to live into the mystery of life, to experience it fully, to find both the joys and the frustrations, knowing that that is the normal course of life. Thanks for being with me today. I hope that something I've said is helpful to you. Please be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel, to like this video, and to ring the bell so that you're notified of future videos when they're posted. Have a great day.